What's up guys, Josh from Rhino Lights. I was wanting to do a quick video on kind of uh, debugging the whips. Um, some of the biggest questions we get sometimes is, hey, my whips only are white. Um, there's multiple reasons why that could be. I just kind of want to run over some tips on how to debug what's going on. First and foremost, um, you want to make sure you have a solid connection with your data line. White whips usually means that it has power in ground, but no data signal. So why does it not have data signal? That's what we got to figure out. Um, but when you put power to these LED strips, they turn white by default. The data line is the brains and it tells it what the LEDs to turn what color. So to start, we want to make sure we have a good connection between our data line here. Basic thing. The other thing we see sometimes, and we had a couple, couple customers come to us at some shows, when they ran this wire, they kink this really bad right here and it actually broke the connection. We've seen that a few times. That will cause it to break and short and potentially mess up both whips if it backfeeds. So that's something to be careful when you run this on your machine is to make sure you're not snapping this and bending this too harsh. Um, the other thing is if you had your whips running for a long time, you know, and you had them for four or five months and you went riding, this connection here sometimes gets broke where this thing gets snagged and it disconnects and breaks from the LED strips. We've got whips back cut this apart, cut the heat shrink off, and this thing just fell out. And you could tell it's got yanked really hard. Stuff happens, we fix it. We'll repair it, just get it back to us. Um, you Sometimes you can tell by pushing on here, um, there should be no hollow spots. This heat shrink is shrunk down to all these wires. And so if all of a sudden you feel a void or a pressure, that's probably this thing got yanked and it's out of place. And that's probably what happened and disconnected the data line. And that's why your whips are only white because we jump power to the other side. And so 12 volts come in from this side, 12 volts coming from this side and it turns it white. Um, so that's kind of a couple quick tips on how to debug if it's only white. And also go look at the app. Make sure the settings are correct. If you've actually accidentally changed the settings on the app, it could affect the performance and completely make this not work at all. So just a couple of things to debug and look out for with the whips. As always, if you need help, just give us a call, email us, whatever you need. Just get a hold of us. We'll be glad to help.